So here, Monte versus Mr. L. This is going to be, uh, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. Uh, loser semis <laughs> between these two players. And of course, uh, coincidentally, you know, Mr. L did lose the Marvelous Marco, so you know he wants a shot at the revenge, but also a oh, shot yeah. at that prize pool. And of course, Monte, well, everybody wants a shot, man. So it's a pretty good prize pool coming up for every day of bracket ladders. So of course, these two players here did find themselves in losers of semis, and I know Mr. L is looking to get that rematch. With Marco, absolutely. The pace these two are already just going right after one another is definitely make anybody go blah, 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 blah. So I don't blame you for that one, man. Here we go. <laughs> Um, Monty's finally able to steal a little bit of space, but manages the parry grab. Keeping Mr. L off balance a little bit. Mr. Oh, L said, I don't need your meats. <laughs> yeah, double bucket, man. That's a great and scary situation here. Because that's going to force Mr. L to actually evaluate whether approaching for Thunder Jolt might actually be worth. And that event essentially shuts down one of Pikachu's bread and butter options to approach. Yeah. You can see it here in Mr. L. He's giving a little bit of respect. No Thunder Jolts, no over aggression. Kind of just trying to psych Mr. Mon sorry, Monte a little bit in and out. And Monte just doesn't feel any pressure to go out and swing that big old steel chair like a pro wrestler and take that first stock. Yeah, 88%. This guy's got a lead, so he doesn't have to overexert himself here. It's going to be Mr. L going for a grab. No offstage play. And I like the patience because he wanted to see how Monte was going to react with the bucket. Because Miss Game & Watch can actually do some crazy stuff with bucket when it comes to reflections and absorptions as well. Again, uh, Mr. L is just keying in on some of these grab whiffs that Monte is uh, experiencing right now. A good, good shield grab for Monte, trying to put more pressure on Mr. L, but Mr. L is able to get right back on stage. All right, after for the play, no back air from Mr. L, but still able to recover against that down air. Almost gets hit by the down smash. That's the crazy thing about Game & Watch, man. That down smash connecting into the forward smash for big damage. Also, its range can be very, very scary to deal with, and then up smash is oh, an excellent anti-air against that thunder jolt that we see from Mr. L. Monty covered so much territory there with that. Oh, he's trying to get the nine. Not quite gonna get it. And I believe recent information has been made public that Game of Watch, Game of Watch's ability to get a nine increases in percentage the higher or the less he's winning or the higher percent he is. So it's pretty scary when Game of Watch is at that last second opportunity. He can bring things back with a nine, but nonetheless, that is going to be an upper small juggles for Monte. As you can see, he's able to get the shield grab and the back air play. Mr. L is in a little bit of trouble as he makes a stage return. But oh no, that that's I'm sorry. Oh I, man. I, I was I, like, everything was going wrong for Mr. L. He was getting juggled. He was getting put off stage. Monte got the bucket on deck. Like at this point, Mr. L was having a rough time and Monte was enjoying every second of it. Yeah, ultimately this is a relatively speaking a rough matchup for Pikachu. Um <laughs> I I just don't know. Like the the thing is that Monty was struggling kind of in the early game with some of his options, maybe trying to presume that Mr. L was going to be in a certain spot. You just saw with the, the, the grab whiffs that uh, Mr. L was able to punish. But Mr. L just couldn't capitalize to the extent of putting away Monty. And by letting Monty hang on that long, he was able to adjust further to Mr. L's play style and secure the mm. stock lead and hold on to it all the way through. Now we're in game two and Mr. L is in the hole. Yeah. Um, I've we said it, man. We're broken records at this point. It's the best three all the way through, even to Grant, even on the reset. Mr. has one last opportunity. It's going to be here against Monty. And Monty definitely demonstrated how to take down Pikachu, not only as Game & Watch, but as a whole, right? When you shut down yeah. some, of her power, some of Pikachu's powerful tools, you leave Pikachu starting to evaluate how to make different approach options. And Mr. L, not too shy of situations like that. But Game & Watch has always been a really rough matchup, even in Smash 4 for Pikachu. I really boils down to if you have tools to make Pikachu think twice about Thunder Jolt, it's such a huge win for you as a character and a player. Yeah, because having any kind of projectile that advances on your opponent with the way that Thunder Jolt moves in particularly, like it's a really great advantage. But so far, Mr. L has made some adaptions and playing a little bit aggressive here. There's the out of shield there, but nothing to be found just yet. Gosh. Mr. L is having a really hard time trying to punish Monty for his landings. And Monty has landed full on on Pikachu's shield and nothing oh. happened. He got the invincibility from the bucket and the absorption That's at the same so time. That's so wild. Oh, man, you can even see Mr. L's actually just being extra cautious now because Monty definitely 
has narrowed us down, but that's oh. a great, Tech great job reset. Yeah. I uh, see Monty very confidently able to uh, land. Look for the up smash kill. Try to catch Mr. L landing a little bit too um, lacking caution. Oof. Very tense. Oh, he's oh. going to do it. Oh, man. He almost did the. There's a hold on to that up smash, but instead, Mr. L was able to get the punish and take the first stock here in game two. I was going to say that was good for Mr. L to start using down tilt because there was a little bit more range for Pikachu. And because Pikachu isn't a low profile, it's able to actually hit Mr. L when he's charging moves like up smash or even just the final way to get a poke in. And range is so important for Pikachu, especially in a matchup where you again, can't really use T-Jolt as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's now starting to save T-Jolt for dealing with uh, Game Watch's disjoint fair, which is really smart. Yeah. Changing the dynamic of how to approach this matchup a little bit differently, but good stuff on Monty. Stalling the recovery. I still read on Mr. L from the landing. Monty gets his feet on the ground here, but can he take care of Mr. L's 109%? Mr. L has definitely adapted. Oh no, here, the bomb wow. got through! Man, remember when we when this game first came out and we were like, man, they changed game and watch is fair? Oh, yeah. it's, it's the worst fair in the game now. And all of a sudden everyone starts realizing how good it is. Because most of Game Watch's arsenal, it doesn't really mix up timing wise, except for that one. And it's yeah. so key. Again, just not able to punish Monty up close out of shield. Mr. Oh. Oh, oh, got the grab. What a key grab. Yeah, starting frames of that one, too. Right before Monty had the actual opportunity to go for the up smash. Great way to hold shield. No out of shield play yet, but there's the punish on the Thunder Jolt. That was Monty. really brave of Monty to do like parry up be there. Again, just be able to land safely and with the multi hit back air too. Oh, that was a oh, setup from Monty, but that was an ultimate punish there from Mr. Al. Definitely finally getting the best out of that from the up smash on shield. Now, Mr. L in control, and again, that's the thing when you, you're facing Game Watch with a lead, is that Game Watch's approach options are so, so universally terrible. But in this matchup, Pikachu does not have the spacing option of t to be readily used. So, let's just see what happens. Oh, lightning loops, but countered immediately. This is the first moment that Monty was able to up -be. Oh, the bucket's half full. Yeah, Mr. L taking his time. I was going to say it's all the way full. Great <laughs> opportunity for Monty to actually go for full bucket on Mr. L's descent towards the stage because that would have definitely punched Thunder Jolt. I really like that Mr. L was just going forward with the T Jolts anyway once the bucket got full, but that was yeah, just yeah. So, such a good space down fair for Monty. And that was, so good for, that was so good for Monty too, like understanding, like, okay, if you're going to really go for all these Thunder Jolts, I'm just going to try to approach you at bucket, especially on the landing. Yeah. Oof, that was such a good call out with the turnaround F smash. All right, good use of the stall there with the bucket, but also keep in mind if Game & Watch cannot ref uh, absorb things with bucket, Game & Watch can reflect them instead, so that's a great play out of the way. All right, no forward air, great punish on Mr. L out in the skies. No play here, Monty just trying to slowly get in with the neutral air. No, that's good. See, Mr. L is now playing a little bit on the aggressive side, stopping yep. Monty from actually getting some out of shield plays. Typically, something you would see from Game Watch going for up out of shield. He's got the ledge. Oh, oh I was going to say the chair. Oh, what? Good trade for Monty. All right, forward. Air. That's good pressure, too. It evaluates Mr. L what kind of arrow he wants to go out of shield or if he wants to go for any play at all. I like that attempted mix up there, We're trying to like catch the bucket being out too long with dash attack, but Mr. L just wasn't able to capitalize on it. Oh, man. Oh, the Devil Smash Again? actually clanking. That's rough here. Mr. L is looking to f a way to finish a stock, but Monty's one step closer. There's going to be the fourth throw. What a mix-up. Dash attack. Yeah, Monty's got stage. Punishes the landing. The dash attack, but the Devil oh. Smash will catch the quick attack. And ladies and gentlemen, Monty will take this 2-0. Oh. oh, man, that was so... Like you, Mr. L had really good adaptation, like towards the end. Like you can, like yeah. you said, right? Like he said, if you're gonna have a full bucket, that's fine. I'll be able to use Thunder Jolt as much as possible. I'll be able to find a ways in. But it was at the end, it was like Monty knowing that, like I can just punish Pikachu on the landings. You can even see it with a lot of the down smashes attempts. And at worst for Monty, 
it was gonna be like the clanking that we saw from down smash and it was up to Mr. to try to hold his feet on the ground but the way that monty was aggressive towards the end just made things really difficult <laughs> 